Hey, brothers and sisters, I'm using internal mic, so I'm trying to get close. Uh, this is your favorite brother from another mother. I just got back. I've been on the road all day, and uh, we had a Christmas party with the orphans from Orphanage 1, 2, and 3, and the house parents, and the pastors who do the feedings. And anyway, it was a success. Great success! And I posted, uh, I put some, I made a little short video. It's on my channel. Got a bunch of videos of uh, that I'll be posting and also uh, feeding programs. But anyway, brothers and sisters, I came on here to make a quick uh, prayer request. There's a sister that's been watching me for a long time. Her name is Ashley uh, Gustafson is her last name. And uh, she had written me because she was in a bad car wreck on December the 4th. And I'm looking at the email she wrote me. And um, her dad set up a, Go a GoFundMe page for her. And uh, there's pictures of her own there with what she looks like. And I'm not really showing them on here. I'm just trying to make a quick video and get it out for you guys to see. But uh, looks like on her GoFundMe, she's trying to raise $5,000. I'll just read it to you. She said, uh, I need you, really need your help. And I felt led to reach out to you. I, I suffered a brain, a traumatic brain injury. My brain surgery is on, was, uh, and I had a brain surgery on December the 4th. Half of my face doesn't work. My eyes and mouth and hearing can't talk right. I have a fracture in my temporal, lo temporal, temporal lobe plus multiple facial fractures. Here's a link to my story and photos. Now, she's a young woman. She's got two small children. And it's uh, GoFundMe.com forward slash Ashley Gustafson family. I'm going to put the link below. I'm a mom of two, and this medical emergency has really put me in a terrible position. I can't see my doctor because I can't afford the visits. And this is required so I recover, so I can recover and heal. I've had to see a neurosurgeon team, speech therapist, so I can work on my speech, physical therapy, so I can learn how to walk and without losing balance. My life flight alone was $49,000. I was flown to a hospital there, Erlanger in Tennessee. I'm drained my savings to survive, and I'm on the verge of losing my house and worry day to day about groceries. My father created a GoFundMe, and it's been shared a few times, and no one is helping. I need my brothers and sisters in Christ to be the hands and feet of Jesus and help my family. I know I know he can't perform a miracle because he brought me through the brain surgery and allowed me to live. I'm not asking you to donate because I know you have a lot of children in your ministry, you know, the orphanage. But if you could just share my story on a video that I just know a blessing would pour out. I prayed and prayed and I feel like God wants me to ask for help. I know you're busy and have a lot going on. But it could help save my life at home. If you can make a video, uh, you have my permission to use my photos and story to let people see how bad it is. I know God will bless you tenfold for helping. You know, I'm not doing it for that. You know, I do everything I do for the Lord. Of course, I yeah, we all want rewards in heaven, right? Of course, you know, it's a secondary thing. But, um, you know, we'll try to help anybody that we can. And in this situation is a great example. This sister, Ashley talking about losing her home. I mean, she's a younger woman. I mean, she might not even be 30. I don't know exactly how old she is. And uh, she's got two children. And, uh, you know, her husband, I, her, the, her, on the GoFundMe site, the father, her father wrote it. And uh, I read it, but I don't have it memorized. But it's, you know, his her husband is a hardworking guy. I think he does construction. And forgive me if I'm wrong exactly what it is. And anyways, you know, there's not a lot of work for him right now. Anyway, besides the fact that this is devastating to them, you know, this is not health insurance like me. If I'm in the States, by the grace of God, I haven't had health insurance for years and years and years. And by the grace of God, I haven't been in an auto accident. You know, many people don't have insurance. And uh, this sister, who's our sister in Christ, you know, if, if uh, several people pitched in a little bit, it's going to make a huge difference. And uh, people are always looking for something to give to. And, um, uh, I strongly urge and I strongly ask that you guys one pray for her. I'm going to send her this into the prayer request team. Uh, and as a matter of fact, if you want to join the Joshua's ministry of the Church of the Firstborn prayer team, if you're a mature Christian, uh, you can go to the Church of the Firstborn. The link is under this video. Also, and submit your name to be on the prayer team. But I'm going to be praying for Let's pray for her right now. And I'm going to ask you guys to pray for her. And I'm asking for those of you who can to please help. I mean, there are people that watch my videos. There's one guy that watches my videos sometimes, and he flies on a private jet up there in Washington State. And, uh, you know, I pray that, if uh, you know, because he never donated to the orphanages. I met him and prayed with him and, and ministered to him for a whole week in all of his theological questions. But he never do donated to the orphanages. But maybe something like this might move uh, a cold heart. 
Uh, so if you see the pictures of this sister, you'll see she's been through a lot. And uh, like I say, think about her children. You know, so for me, for me, the way because you know the Lord put it in my heart with the orphanages and stuff. I think about her kids, you know, losing their house and all that. Well, you know, it would change in the life of their kids for a long time. And that's important too, uh, brothers and sisters. So let's pray for Sister Ashley right now, in Jesus' name. Father, we ask you, Lord, and we believe. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna try to contact her and Skype with her. By the grace of God, I know she's injured and stuff. She had help with this email, I guess, from her dad or her husband. So let's pray for her right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Sister Ashley. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, we ask you to heal her speedily, Lord God. We ask you for her brain and her speech to recover immediately in Jesus' name. We ask for all of her financial needs, for her and her family to be met right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to bless them, Lord God. Right now, I decree and declare they will be blessed a hundredfold in Jesus' name. In health, wealth, wisdom, peace, joy, and love in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, Lord, we believe and declare and decree by faith, Lord God, that you are opening up the floodgates of heaven, Lord, to pour out blessings that they cannot contain, Lord God. Lord, and I pray right now that all that would donate would receive a special blessing, Lord God. A special blessing, Lord, anyone that would donate to help our sister Ashley, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord, even as you said in your word, that when we give, it will be given unto us in good measure and pressed down and running over. Would men give into our bosom? Lord, for you said that the same measure we measure with will be measured back to us. And Lord, you said those who sow sparingly would reap sparingly. Lord, I ask you, Lord God, to fill the hearts of those who can to give, Lord, to give, and that they would open up their storehouses, Lord, and bless this sister, Lord, and I believe your word in Malachi 3.10 where you said that you would open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings on people they cannot contain when they have a giving heart and a cheerful giver, your word says, Lord. I believe for them, cheerful givers to give in Jesus' name, Lord. Melt the hearts of those who never give, Lord, but can, that they would become givers, for they can never outgive you, Lord, whatever we give you. Restore to us 30, 60, and 100 fold, Lord. In all things, whether it be finances, whether it be peace, whether it be joy, whether it be love, whether it be salvation of our relatives. Father, we thank you for the blessings in Jesus. Brothers and sisters, God bless you all. Keep this short. Get it loaded. (laughs) For me, this is a short video. God bless you all. I ask you to pray as I push through to finish up all the stuff with the orphanages and feeding programs and all that. Been very, very busy. But, you know, praise God. This is uh, this story, you know, the Lord, you know, put it in my heart that this this sister needs our help. And we need to help our brothers and sisters. This is a special situation from the Lord that he wants us to help. God bless you all.